Today we're going to meet another student from the University of Adelaide. Jasmine has only been in Australia for a short time, but it looks like she's settled in well. Listen for some of the words she uses about making friends and meeting different people. We'll have a closer look at these words later. But now let's find out a bit more about Jasmine. My name's Jasmine. And could you spell that for me? J-A-S-M-I-N-E. Okay, and uh, now Jasmine, do you study here at the university? Yes, I do. What do you study? I'm studying medicine. Yeah. Medicine. And how long have you been studying medicine? Um, this is my first year here, so like it's just been a, um, nine weeks, just into week nine. Where are you from? I'm from Penang, Malaysia. Yeah. Right. And and you've only just arrived in Adelaide? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. And do you enjoy it here? Yeah, it's good, you know, a new environment, a new culture, you know, so many new th things to experience. It's a good, you know, way, sort of a new environment where you can intermingle with different people. It's good. Excellent. And how long will you be here for, do you think? Um, six years um, for the whole period of my course. Yep. So you live in university housing with other students? Um, yeah, it's a college, yep. What's the address there? Um, uh, Lincoln College, where um, Rom Place. Yeah, so it's cool. Can you describe a little bit about your room or the college? Ah, the college. Well, we have a um, quite a number of buildings, so it's good because, like, if you stay in this building, you create a rapport, camaraderie between the people that stay in the same floor, the same building, and then we have like inter-building sort of. Um, competitions like we have um, you know we have Hambly or Scott you know we have friendly debates or you know basketball competitions and all that stuff so it's good that's the thing I like about Adelaide you know surrounded by um, all your parklands that's one of one things one of the interesting things that I've liked about Adelaide and the people are really nice here interesting new culture new language um, although I know, you know, I have studied English before, but the type of English that you use is totally different, you know, the, the cliched Australian version of g'day, you know, sort of thing laid back. And yeah, so you live and learn, you know, you start saying, you know, things like heaps good instead of like very good, you know, so yeah, you sort of try to blend into the culture. That's really good. Yeah. So Jasmine is an international student from Penang, a city in Malaysia. She moved to Adelaide in South Australia. She's been in Adelaide for nine weeks and is studying medicine at the University of Adelaide. What are some of the things Jasmine likes about Adelaide? Yeah, it's good, you know, a new environment, a new culture. Jasmine says it's good, a new environment, a new culture. A new environment is a new place. A new culture is a different way of life. For Jasmine, Adelaide is a new place and there is a different way of life compared to Penang. Let's listen again. Yeah, it's good, you know, a new environment, a new culture, you know, so many new things to experience. It's a good, you know, way, sort of a new environment where you can intermingle with different people. It's good. Jasmine says there are so many new things to experience. Here, experience is used as a verb. It's when something happens to you or you feel something. In Adelaide, there are many new things happening to her. Note that experience can also be used as a noun. It means knowledge or skill as a result of doing something. Jasmine also says it's a new environment where you can intermingle with different people. To intermingle is to mix together. To mingle means to mix and the prefix inter means together, among or between. It can be added to both nouns and verbs. We can have intercity, between cities, or to interconnect, to connect together, or to interchange, to make two things change places. In this case, to intermingle means Jasmine mixes together with different people she meets many people, especially in the building where she lives. We have a, um, quite a number of buildings, so it's good because like, if you stay in this building, you create a rapport, camaraderie between the people that stay in the same floor, the same building. Jasmine says they have quite a number of buildings. She means there are many buildings where the students live. 
She says in the building you create a rapport, camaraderie between the people that stay in the same floor, the same building. Rapport is an ability to communicate well with another person. Note that rapport is pronounced with a silent T, rapport. And camaraderie is a feeling of friendship. Jasmine can communicate well and has a feeling of friendship with the other people who live in her building. Here's Jasmine again. Listen for the prefix inter again. We have a, um, quite a number of buildings, so it's good because like, if you stay in this building, you create a rapport, camaraderie between the people that stay in the same floor, the same building. And then we have like inter-building sort of um, competitions, like we have, um, you know, we have Hambly or Scott, you know, we have friendly debates or, you know, basketball competitions and all that stuff, so it's good. They have inter-building competitions. Here, inter means between. They have inter-building competitions, competitions between buildings. So each building has a team and they play games against each other, like debates and basketball. It's a fun and interesting place to live. Jasmine's only been in Adelaide for nine weeks and has already created a rapport and camaraderie with many different people. It sounds like she's going to enjoy studying in Adelaide. Remember, it's always a good experience to visit our website. You'll see all of today's words and phrases there. English Bites is brought to you by Australia Network and there are many other English language learning resources available at our website.